So this week was a little bit different uh, and we took the first couple of days of the week as a holiday and we went up to Inverness in Scotland um, and it was a 10 hour drive with a break and you can see it's getting progressively hillier and lovely trees, it's snowy. There were tons of wind turbines on the way as well which I think are pretty majestic so we took some pictures of those. Um, and it was so lovely up there that I forgot to take any video for uh, Small Holiday Diaries, hence I'm sharing a few videos with you. Um, so as I say, it was a nice long road trip up there. Um, um, and then on the second day, we went to Loch Ruthven, which is this. It's an RSPB nature reserve. And we spent a few uh, hours looking around the loch and then driving around the highlands, just exploring the beautiful wilderness. As you can see, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, it was a bit overcast, um, but even in this kind of weather, it was absolutely lovely. There's the moorlands. Um, and then it was a 13 hour drive home because we went the long way so we could see some special sites like this, which is Loch Ness. So this is the south base of Loch Ness looking up to north. Uh, here is a beautiful mountain range uh, heading towards Ben Nevis. And then finally, this is Glencoe, absolutely stunning as the uh, clouds cleared away. But anyway, let's get back to the normal small holding. So today I'm just out doing some gardening, some tidying up. I've just been cutting back this uh, geranium and digging over the beds here, clearing out some of the old sunflowers that were here. Um, I will leave this rose until the spring and then I'll cut that down. But I've let all the chicks out and the danvers. So you've got the two boys here. Miracle has climbed on top of the aviary. Um, and then we've got Bruce. Hello, Bruce who's grown up to be a fine young man. Um, and then you can see the black Danver girls. And then these silkies are the second lot of uh, Barry's babies. So they are still quite small, as you can see. Um, very round, snowball shaped. A couple of, of them already, you can see there are some very pale little toasty marshmallow bits on them. Particularly this one there, you can see there's some very subtle color. So, I'm just having a nice day gardening uh, with all the chickens out now that there's no kind of veggies for them to s just destroy. We're just chilling out, aren't we? So I've just come in to see the budgies and I am so excited because there are peeps coming from the nest box. So in this nest box, there is pooping. And now what I'm gonna try and do is show you what's going on inside. So there is Mama Hen. And you can see sticking out the back there, there is a little piece of pink wiggling. So that means we have baby budgies. So this is really exciting. This is her first clutch with me. I didn't know how good she was gonna be as a mum. Um, but she's hatched stuff, so this is really, really great. So I'll do a longer video on it tomorrow uh, for our Friday video, but I'm just thrilled to see babies. So even though it's uh, December, we have still have a few leaves on the tree, and a lot of them have come down, so I'm raking them up today. Now, I have not got any more room on my compost heap. You can see it's completely crammed. So what I'm doing with this is I'm going to make a uh, leaf mulch. Now you can put leaf mulch into bags. I'm actually going to be putting it into this empty bin. The main thing is to maintain moisture. Um, a couple of years ago I made a massive error and I got all these lovely leaves and I thought I was going to make all this lovely leaf mulch but they were dry and a year later they were still dry because the bacteria and the fungus and stuff that breaks it all down needs moisture. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm just raking up all the leaves of the path. I leave them on the beds because the worms come up and then they drag them back down and enrich the soil but all the leaves on the path that you can see I'm just pulling into a pile I'll put in this, I'll keep it moist, and then over the next couple of years, it will rot down into a beautiful leaf mulch. 
So I wanted to tell you about a new project I'm doing. Not that I haven't got enough, but I've just thought of something new that I can do. So as you know, I've been growing a few trees uh, to expand the woodland on the farm. But it was pointed out to me the other day that actually I could also set up a small tree nursery uh, of native trees. So what I've decided to do is exactly that. So at the moment, I have a very small amount of trees. So I have a ginkgo, I've got a couple of oaks. These are horse chestnut seeds that I've picked up. Um, but the plan is not only to extend the woodland, but to set up a small uh, tree nursery, native tree nursery. Because if I don't sell the trees or any excess trees, I can keep for myself. Um, and it will obviously take two, three, four years. It'll be an ongoing process to get trees to a, a state where they can be sellable but what I'm going to start doing is going around the farm when I'm there and finding all the trees that are like this um, so like a couple of years old or whatever and digging them up and potting them and then planting them out in rows in a, in a patch on the farm um, so hopefully I can do oaks and elder, ash, rowan, hazel, um, hawthorn, all those types of plants um, so that is a new plan for me. So I'm going to have a lot more trees growing. I need to pot these up. They really could do with those long thin pots because they obviously have a deep tap root. So I will be potting this. I mean, this acorn is all but dead now. You can see it dies off from around the base and then the uh, tap root grows down. So the best one is not these pots like this, but you can get smaller, longer pots, which I've got. Uh, actually, like this buddly is in. So like this buglier one is in, you can see it's a, a small, smaller top but quite long and that allows the tap root to go down. So that is one of my new projects. Well it's the end of the week so I thought it only right that we just catch up with Little Miss Budgie. She seems to have pushed this perch in so let's, push, let's pull this perch out. So it's Sunday so we're supposed to have four babies today. She's sitting really tightly. She's been a great mum. She's been feeding them all really well. Um, and even in the middle of the night I've heard squeaking. They've all got full crops. And now she's sitting so tightly we can't even see them. Are you going to come off? Oh, there's st so there's still an egg there. So we might only have three babies. But you can see that they're all doing really, really well. So we'll catch up with them next week. And they will grow pretty fast from here. That's the smallest one on the outside there. Right, let's leave her alone.